guys welcome back okay so it's your girl kk and we back with another shop my stash video <laughs> and yeah this one's gonna be kind of tricky i i want to go in the order that i do my face of course my last shop my stash i did go ahead and do a recap video if you're curious about my thoughts on those products check my recap video out but I'm ready to try some new products um, and but I'm gonna go a little bit out of order because I usually go in the order that I do my face so I would normally start with my moisturizer serum brows all that stuff but I want to get the foundation out the way because <laughs> y'all I really don't know <laughs> what foundations I want to use I'm thinking that I should do maybe like a declutter type situation so foundations that i haven't used in a while and i kind of am not sure whether or not i want to keep them maybe i should go ahead and use them and then start decluttering so i do have some foundations i haven't used in a long time like this color pop this color pop no filter foundation i have not used this in quite a while and i really don't remember how i feel about it so I think I'm going to use that this week. Also, this Burt's Bees. I know I used this. This is the Goodness Glows Foundation. I used that in a video, I think, and haven't used it since. You can see it's basically full. And I'm going to pick one more because, <laughs> you know, Lord knows. And then if none of these work, I'll just go ahead and declutter them and then use something that I know works this nyx total control drops i remember really really liking these when i tried them out so i think i'm going to try these again because it has been a minute since i used those so these are going to be my three foundations for the next week or so and i'll see what happens either they will stay or they will get decluttered okay so now back to our regularly scheduled shopping brows okay so in this drawer I don't have a lot of brow products as you can see <laughs> I have these three pomades and I have a bunch of pencils and it's basically like elf LA gear um, maybe a few other ones sprinkled in there but I don't have a lot of brow products because I really don't try a lot of brow products <laughs> I just use what I know works so um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my elf brow pomade as usual nothing special and I don't think I'm gonna use a pencil this week so I'm not gonna grab any pencils now I do also keep my lip balms and lip glosses and lip liners in here some of them you know just the ones that I use on a regular basis and you guys know I'm forever using my elf <laughs> lip glosses but I think I'm gonna switch it up I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my elf jelly pop uh, juice gloss is that what it's called yeah juice gloss <laughs> so I'm gonna throw that in my stash I don't think I'm gonna do I need a couple of lip liners because you guys know I always use my Ellery I'm trying to chill out on Ellery so I'm gonna give her give her a rest this is one of my Italia lip liners you can get these on Amazon and they sell them like you can get like 50 in a pack or something a lot of them for a lot of different shades of lip liner so I'm gonna go ahead and take this because that's like a basic lip liner color for me um, and where is my color pop BFF4 ain't nobody going nowhere without the BFF4 where is it oh my gosh okay I have to find my ColourPop BFF4 because that's a must-have <laughs> for me. But as far as lip gloss goes, ooh, I haven't used this in a while. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss that I got in my BoxyCharm, I believe. So I think I'm going to take that. And I'll go ahead and choose this e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. This is just their clear lip gloss. I always like to keep lip glosses because you guys know if I can't really come up with a lip color, <laughs> a lip liner and some lip gloss will always do the trick. So I will just take that for this week. I don't need a lip balm because I'm already working on my Glossier Mint 
lip balm. Okay, so next I would choose like a serum, a moisturizer, and a face oil. But since I am currently testing out some products from Good Molecules, I don't need to choose um, serum or moisturizer or face oil because these are all the ones that I'm trying from them. So I have a squalene oil. I have this discoloration correcting serum from Good Molecules and I also have this silicone free priming moisturizer. I really really like this stuff. I just use it as a moisturizer not necessarily as a primer but I'm loving this stuff so far so I'm just going to keep that. I got my foundation um, eyeshadow primer. So. In this drawer, as you can see, I have my eyeliners. So these are pencil eyeliners. Oh, here's my BFF4 lip liner. That does not go in there. <laughs> but I'm taking this because this is like your basic must-have lip liner. Oh my goodness. Love it. It gives you the perfect brown lip liner for nude lips. So gotta have that. But for eyeliner, I really want to try something new. You guys know I always use my NYX. So it's hard for me to try new eyeliners, but um, this Hank and Henry, people really, really rave about this Hank and Henry eyeliner that I got in my subscription box. It's blackity or blickety black. I'm going to try this and I'm going to see how it goes. I don't know. Um, For my lower lash line, I'm not really that picky. I'm just going to use my Milani Stay Put Waterproof. Um, eyeliner for my lower lash line and I also want to play around with a gel eyeliner so I have a few I have this one from Bobbi Brown which is just a regular you know black gel eyeliner I have this one from LA girl another one hasn't even been used yet so most likely I won't use that and then I have one from Morphe, not even opened yet. So I think what I'm going to do is um, take this Bobbi Brown one and see if I like it. If not, I'm going to declutter it. And for primer, you guys know I've been using the heck out of this e.l.f. All Day Stay <laughs> eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to give that a rest for a little while. Gosh, I have not used my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot in so long. But as you can see, I used to use the heck out of this stuff. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this and use this for a while. See if I still like it as much as I used to. Okay, since I already picked my foundation, now I just need to pick a concealer. And these are the concealers that I'm currently using um, or, you know, that I have out to choose from. You know what? I have really <laughs> been dying to uh, use my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I used to use this all the time back in the day. This was the OG. You guys, I have not used this stuff in so long. I don't even know if it's still good. But I do, I wanna use this and <laughs> see if I still like it as you know regular concealer. So, that one's almost empty. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take, this is the color Fawn. Ooh, it's thick. Ooh, shad is thick. That's the color Fawn. So I'm going to take that. This is the color Warm Honey. Yeah, these two used to be my favorite, favorite concealers back in the day. So Warm Honey is a much lighter, cooler, and then Fawn is a little bit warmer. So, yeah, I'll take both of those just to play around in them and see what's happening. Um, I have not used my Fenty, Fenty Beauty Concealer in a while, I don't think, so, eh, I don't remember this being my favorite concealer, to be honest with you, it's really not, I don't really care for the color, but, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this so I can get some use and try and use this up. And I don't want any other ones. Hmm. What about Milani? This is Milani Retouch and Erase. Am I making too many choices, you guys? Y'all know I like to have options. <laughs> so 
So that's the Milani uh, Retouch and Erase. What shade is this? Yeah, so that's 06 Deep Honey for the Milani right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Milani as well. Okay, so for loose powder, which I like to use to set under my eyes, um, I don't know. I guess I could use a um, translucent. I know uh, <laughs> I got asked to try out this Ciate London, this new one that I got in my BoxyCharm, I think. It's the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. So I got asked to try this out, so I will take this just to try that out. Not sure how I'm going to feel about that. And you know what? I bought this Airspun <laughs> quite a while ago. I know I've tried it before and the scent is like super duper strong. So I was like, eh, but it was so long ago when I tried it. I bought some more to see if maybe, you know, I guess I would like it <laughs> if I try it again. So this one is airspun translucent so i think i'm gonna try this as well i guess this will be a translucent week for under my eyes and i'll give this one a shot and see how i feel about that um as far as face powder like setting my face the last one that i used was this l'oreal true match and i really really like this um i already know i really really like my kiss pro touch I'm not going to use anything that I know that I love already. <laughs> I just got this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder. This is in 355 Coconut. So, I've never tried this before. Did I even open it? Yeah, it's not even open yet. But I've never tried this before. And I'm curious about it. It kind of looks a little bit orange, maybe? I don't know. But we'll try this. Yeah, we'll try this this week and see what happens. <laughs> now, in my last Shop My Stash, I picked this uh, e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer, and I was so nervous to use it, but I found that I actually love this stuff. <laughs> I do. I love it. So I'm going to choose this to play with this week because I know that I like it already. I have not used my No Pore Bloom. You can see it's all down on the bottom but i haven't used this no problem primer in a while and i do remember liking this this is the touch and soul and i got this in a boxy charm i actually like this so much that i bought a backup so i think i'm gonna pull this to use as well this week and that's it i really 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 want to try this Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer that I just bought not too long ago. But this will have to wait until next week. I don't want to pull too many primers. Well, I guess I could try this out actually because I already know that I like the other two primers that I pulled. So I actually could pull this one to try it out for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one as well and I will try this out for you guys and let you know if I like it or not. Now, you guys know I don't have a whole lot of bronzer and contour stuff. Well, I take that back. I have enough. <laughs> I just used the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Bronzer. Love this stuff. This Black Radiance. You know what? I keep looking at it. I think I used this uh, one time. Maybe I should try. This would be, this is a maybe. I bought this contour palette off of Amazon. It's called the Luxie Contour Palette. <laughs> And the picture was so much darker than the actual palette. They really got me on this one with the picture because it was so much darker. I mean, look at that. You see how light these shades are? But funny thing is, I actually did use that to contour with. And it did leave a slight shadow. So I was really, really shocked. But this is way lighter than it looked on Amazon. But if you like it, this is the Luxie Contour Palette. On Amazon <laughs> uh, I have my Morphe Glamour bronze bronzer you guys know this is a serious favorite of mine for bronzer um these are the only contour sticks that I have I have the Fenty contour stick oop, and espresso 
So this, you know, is an easy, easy cream contour. This is actually from e.l.f. <laughs> so this is like a contouring stick from e.l.f. It's not dark enough at all um, for me. And this is from Black Opal. This is one of their True Color sticks. What color do I have? Black Walnut. This is an amazing contour stick. It really is. It doesn't look that dark, but it gives off a really nice contour from Black Opal. Um, I think I'm going to play with that as a cream contour. This is my Cover Effects palette that I got in BoxyCharm. You guys know it has the blush, bronzer, and um, highlight in here. Uh, do I want to play with this? Nope. I don't want to play with that. You know what I do want to play with? I know exactly what I want to play with. I used this one time. This is my Makeup Geek face palette that I bought over the holiday. Oh my gosh, you guys. I used it one time and it is so bomb. Everything in here is bomb. The highlight, the blush, the contour. I don't know if you can see that, but everything in here is bomb. This contour shade looks kind of strange, but it looked really, really nice on my face. Um, but the highlighter, the highlighter really shocked me as well. And that blush is so, so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't even think you can see that contour. But yeah, the blush and the highlight. This palette is really nice. So I'm going to play with this so you guys can see how it looks on my face. I also have this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. You guys know what this looks like. Really, really nice contour and highlight. I don't use this middle shade for anything, but it's a really nice powder contour and highlight. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these palettes along with the Black Opal Contour Stick for a cream contour. Um, I need bronzer. I haven't used my Hoola bronzer in a while. You know what, I think since I did not use my Milani bronzer last week when I pulled it, I'm going to pull this for my bronzer this week because I want to use this. So this is what the Milani Earth Glow looks like for bronzer. So yeah, I'm going to use that for bronzer. So I have plenty of contour and one bronzer <laughs> to use. Uh, but it'd be like that sometime, huh? Okay, so you guys know blush is always extremely hard because I have too many blushes. I don't even need to start with this one. I looked in this one last time, and that's how I ended up picking this blush kit. Oh, y'all, I cannot say it enough. This blush kit is so freaking pretty. Love it. Easily one of my favorites right now. I don't think I'm going to dig through there. Okay, so I have some more blushes in here. So this one, I have some of my NYX Sweet Cheeks in here. This is a shiny blush from Wet n Wild, so I'm not really in the mood for shiny blush. This is a blush that I actually think I got from Ross. It doesn't even have a name on it, but it's really, really pretty. Um, What is this? Oh, this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks adorables can i just not read what <laughs> whatever that says adorable sweet cheeks whatever so this is probably like i guess this is the sweet cheeks palette okay so yeah it has like a combination of the sweet cheeks blushes do i want to play with this this is easy because there's several different shades in here Ooh, yeah but you know what? I have not even used this yet. I broke down and bought this Cover Effects um, Monochromatic Duo. I have Spice Cinnamon. And I haven't even used it yet. As long as I've been wanting this thing and have not even used it. I need to use this. I'm going to use this. <laughs> this is going in my shop, my stash. I know y'all like, girl, you may as well put everything in your shop, your stash, because you are a mess. 
Okay, for highlighter, I don't think I'm going to do um, single highlighters this week. I'm going to go ahead and play with this Beach Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. Um, I really don't use this <laughs> for eyeshadow. I've used it like twice maybe. But this palette, can I bend that back? Okay, this palette has so many gorgeous highlighters in here. Do you guys see all of these highlighters over here? so so pretty so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and test this out uh for highlight this week now i don't know if this is supposed to be a bronzer it's a pretty a larger pan so you know what i might play around with that for bronzer as well but yeah there's some really pretty shadows in here shoot i might do an eye look too <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna select this for my highlight now, last week, I played around with some Essence mascaras, and I wasn't really feeling them at all. <laughs> so, I'm not in the mood to play no games this week. I'm just not. I'm going to grab my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because I know that I really, really like this mascara. It's the bomb diggity, so this is what I'm pulling this week. Um, and that's it. I don't need five million mascaras. That's it. Setting sprays. Okay, I'm going to choose a few. Y'all know I like to mix it up, okay? Don't mess with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to choose this Wet n Wild Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water Setting Spray. I like to use it basically as a setting spray. Um, sometimes as a refresher, but this stuff I really, really like, and it smells amazing. This is the Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. This was from Rich Lux. This is from Rich Lux's collection. And this one is the Cream Sickle or Dream Sickle, one of them. And I really like this, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to grab my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You guys know this is my absolute favorite. And I haven't used this in quite a while. It's probably been over a month since I've used it. And I bought about 20 of them during the holidays, so... <laughs> I need to use those okay so those are my setting sprays for this week okay so I decided to go ahead and just kind of go through my stash quickly and grab some palettes that I really have been wanting to try out so instead of taking you guys with me <laughs> through my palettes and humming and hawing and trying to decide, I just went ahead and grabbed some that I want to try out. Now whether or not I use all of these, I don't know, but these are the ones that I'm going to try to use. So this is the Give Me Glow Juicy Olive, and this is what the Juicy Olive looks like. Isn't she pretty? She's gorgeous. So, of course, I will be doing an olive tone look at some point with her. Next, I have one of my Beauty Creations Mini Pro palettes. This one is Volume 3. There are four um, in this group of palettes, but this is the one that I think I want to play with this upcoming week. So, this is what she looks like. Nice, warm, neutral shades with a pop of blue <laughs> and a pop of red. But I do want to test her out. Next, I have my It's All Good palette from ColourPop. I'm thinking maybe I can do a Valentine's Day look with her. Because, of course, you know, she has the pinky burgundy tones in there. Some really pretty shimmery shimmers. Gorgeous. So, so pretty. Now, this palette I've had for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I used it once and didn't really care for the look that I did. But, I mean, it's a, it really is a gorgeous palette. I don't know why it is that I can't get with this. Maybe I need to do what my girl DJ does and rearrange all the shadows. <laughs> Maybe that will help me to um, start filling this palette. Because, I mean, it really is. It's gorgeous, but for some reason... I haven't been able to get with it. Whenever I open this palette, I'm just not inspired. So I'm going to try to create something really funky with this palette. Because it is it is pretty. It really is. Next, I have my Makeup by Yolando Jamrock Extreme 
eyeshadow palette <laughs> and this is what she looks like so you cannot tell me that I won't have fun in her okay this palette <laughs> y'all look at oh my goodness this blue right here what quit playing quit playing okay gorgeous these greens down here yeah so I'm gonna have fun in her and lastly, <laughs> I chose my giant paint palette from Glam Light Cosmetics. Y'all know I've had this for a hot minute because I pre-ordered this mug, you know, when it was first taking orders before it was even in stock. And if you're not familiar with what this palette looks like, it looks like an actual paint palette. So it's pretty big, pretty large, but it opens up like this. And this is what she looks like. So, this is a colorful or rainbow lover's dream, okay? I mean, every beautiful color in the rainbow. And I cannot believe I haven't used her yet. But, yeah, I'm going to have to to uh, take this puppy for a run. Because she's really pretty. So, yeah, going to be using her. So these are all my shop my stash items for this week you guys I think I chose some pretty fun stuff to uh, play around with I'm kind of looking forward to trying out these foundations because I'm really wanting to you know kind of clear out and declutter if these foundations I really don't like anymore I want to just go ahead and declutter them so really happy about that and I'm excited about these palettes so <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out with me for this shop my stash and I'll see you on the next one doodles <laughs>